Now that we're done with the menu, let's look at some of the content here on the home page. And the first thing we're going to do here is well, one of the things that Scott wanted was a sidebar with a temperature. And so we're going to go grab one. And what we're going to do is go out to Google. I've already done this, but uh, we'll go out here and search for. Oops, I don't want to search for Google. I want to search for a weather widget. And so there's all different kinds of widgets that you can get um, rather than you creating this stuff yourself. And the one I got was from AccuWeather. Um, so it looks like it's his first link. But what I'm really going to, I've gone to this NetWeather place, and it's the AccuWeather widget. And uh, I've started building it here. Um, so all we're going to do is type in the location of Scott's store. You know, we'll take the default English units and do it in English. And it finds Kenwick, Washington. We'll go to the next step, choose a theme. And the main thing here is the size of this. And so we're going to take this uh, 180 by 150. Let's see how big this one is. So it's going to look like this. And this looks pretty decent. And then we'll choose a category here. Uh, let's just do basic colors. And this blue looks good. It kind of matches the blues we've been using. So the next thing we'll do is click on the Next button and agree to the terms and conditions and then just copy the code they give us the code and we'll come back here and I've actually I've already pasted this in here but we'll do it again okay so I just copy that code from the AccuWeather site and paste it in here so let's go take a look at this So on Scott's site, it will look something like this. And our next step, what we'll do is we'll resize this image and move this up and do a little more cleanup here on the main page. But that's um, you know for widgets, other things like this. There's you know stockbroker widgets. Um, there's like photo album widgets. All kinds of things that you can get. Uh, breaking news widgets. Just got to go find it, grab the code, and put it in your website.